The death of Tycho Brahe, one of the greatest astronomers of the 16th century, is as mysterious and controversial as his life was brilliant. Blending science, politics, and a possibly poison bladder, Tycho Brahe was known not only for his precise astronomical observations, which laid the groundwork for Kepler's laws, but also for his eccentric personality. He had a metal nose after a duel, kept a tame elk as a pet, and threw famously lavish banquets while working under the patronage of Danish and later Bohemian royalty. In 1601, while attending a banquet in Prague, Brahe allegedly refused to leave the table to urinate, fearing it would be rude. Afterward, he became extremely ill, complaining of abdominal pain and an inability to urinate, and died 11 days later. The official cause was reported as a burst bladder, a condition that, while dramatic, is highly unlikely in healthy adults. The real mystery began centuries later. In 1990, suspicions arose that Brahe may have been poisoned with mercury. Some pointed the finger at Johannes Kepler, his ambitious assistant, who stood to gain access to Brahe's astronomical data and whose career skyrocketed after Brahe's death. In 2010, Brahe's body was exhumed and reanalyzed by scientists from Denmark and the Czech Republic. While traces of mercury were found in his remains, the levels weren't high enough to confirm poisoning as the cause of death. Instead, some researchers now believe he may have died of uremia, a condition caused by kidney failure or urinary retention. So was it a medical tragedy from too much wine and social etiquette? A case of early modern scientific sabotage? Or just one of history's great unsolved biomedical puzzles? To this day, Tycho Brahe's death remains an enigma, fitting for a man whose life was filled with brilliance, drama, and stars.